This video will help you make money on your blog. There's little tweaks, little things you can do to increase engagement, increase the money you make online. And I think a great place to start is in the blog post. If you want to make more money online, make sure to optimize this. We're going to go over that. But have you seen this tool right here? This is called Microsoft Clarity. Tony Hill put me onto this one. Very, very cool. Check this out. What we can do is we can look at people's sessions. For instance, this is a mobile view. Someone is actually on the website, right? They recorded this. Microsoft Clarity recorded this. And we can see how people use this website. And if we can understand how they use it, we can make more money because look, I've sorted this by this specific blog post. In other words, this blog post right here, this is all we're looking at on Clarity. The average scroll depth, how far someone gets down into the page like this is 26.7% and the average time spent is 2.3 minutes. What can we do with this information. Now, before we go down that rabbit hole, I want to show you three blog posts, three new blog posts on Bonsai Mary, and you can consider some things to make more money online. Check out what I have done. So what is really hard to do in blogging? And pictures are often very difficult to do. Well, luckily we have Dolly, but sometimes in this niche, people don't like Dolly images. I'll show you why. You can kind of tell that's fake. That's not too bad. This one, uh, that can work for me, but that's definitely fake. And sometimes that turns people off. So what we can do, check this out, I was thinking, what could I do? So the first image right here is actually an affiliate link to Amazon. Very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. And the best part is if someone clicks and buys, right, we make money. Check it out. I'll click right here. Boom, right here, a real thing. 26 bucks. Wonderful. Furthermore, YouTube embeds. I'll show you how to do that. And then this is something I've been doing with great success. These are, uh, what, X or Twitter embeds? It was a little tricky to do that. I'll show you how to do all of these. Furthermore, if we go to this one here, the Essential Guide to Pothos Climber Supports. I mean, I found that keyword just browsing Amazon to begin with, but you can see this is a very tight article, and boom, look at these. These little links here, they render well on mobile too. If I do this to the left, do you see that looks really good on mobile? I like that a lot. I'll show you how to do this. And there's different versions we can do. People are responding to this. And then I say, look, you can have some DIY pothos support. Well, here's someone who did it. And here's a real picture. That's a really tight blog post. I'm going to teach you how to do it. And then finally, this one, we can add tables of contents that, you know, if it's a bigger blog post, this might help someone kind of navigate. But look here, pretty solid. And at the end, right? The best Pothos soil mixes. So this is on soil mixes. And this here is a plugin you can use. If I look at mobile view, they render like this. Very easy to do. And this is how you can make more money. Now you probably wonder why am I showing you this? This is Phil Mora. This is how I edit my videos. It's very important to understand this because it relates to blogging. So if I show you my whole video right here, do you see how up here, these three portions, there's nothing above it. But then if I go to the first 10 seconds, the first 10 seconds of the blog or the uh, the video right here, I have a lot of edits. I, I, I cut in, I cut out, I have words, I dissolve, da, 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 da. It's because you need to hook your reader. You need to start thinking about your blogs differently because if people come there, we've seen with the Google lawsuits, right? User engagement is what drives future traffic. If a user comes, they don't like it, they bounce off or forget about it. So this is why on my videos, right? We edit the heck out of the first 10, 20, 30 seconds. The first portion of your blog post needs to be intensely good. And a good way to figure all this out is with Microsoft Clarity. This is a WordPress plugin, very easy to use. It's so it's really good. It just does it all. Quickbacks, 12% of users on this page are quickbacks. They come on, they bounce back. That's bad. It might be because my website is too slow. But let's dive into the meat and potatoes. Let's do this one. How to grow SIBO Blue Pothos. So this was like autoblog and hybrid. We already have it. We already pushed some stuff to it. But what I'm going to do, we're going to go into the back end of WordPress. And this is what it looks like. I use Gutenberg. It's what I'm accustomed to. You can use whatever you want. But how could we make this better? So we're coming down here. We have some Dolly images. Very very cool. We have some YouTube embeds, but check this out. I want to be very clear right here. Did you notice this? I have the X, the Twitter embed. How did I do this? And I'm going to caution you don't have too many of these. These really slow down your website. If you have a lot, I'm sure there's a way around it, but let's say I wanted one right here to break it up. Let's say I come over to Twitter and I type in SIBO blue, right? And let's see. Okay. Here's a cool one. What I can do here is I can say embed post. I click that. I'm going to copy code, right? Copied. Woohoo. Not too hard. And then I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to click this button and I'm going to put HTML. 
uh, custom HTML, click here and do this first. Do center, see how I did that right there? Paste it and then do end center, just like that. Oop, not just like that, like that. Now, what I've been doing also is coming over here is loading equals lazy. And that should do it. We can preview. It should push it to the middle right there. And we can update and it's going to update. But I'm also going to show you. Let's just check it. Let's just check the darn thing. So we come down here. Woohoo. Boom. Right there. Very nice. Let's see how it renders in mobile. You know, pause the video, go back. If you need to figure out how to do that on your website, it looks really good in mobile. But the problem is sometimes it slows it down. So for me, I'm not doing more than two of those. Now, if we come back in here, let's say we are down here propagating it, propagation tips. What if I wanted, say, right here, right here, I wanted to have some sort of, you know, purchase intent type of thing. I can come here. This is AAWP. I'll have a link in the description. What I can do is click here. Um, it says, see to the right, you can do or products without ASIN. So there's a few ways to do this, but let's do SIBO blue. Boom. And very easy to do. I like this one. I like that one. And I like this one. Great. And I click OK on all of them. It's going to push them like this. But for me, I don't like how this renders typically. That's just too much text. It's throwing off my on page SEO. So I come over here to the right. I'm going to move my head. I'm going to push my head all the way up here. Uh, over to the right, what we're going to do is we're going to do templates and styles. We're going to do a uh, widget small. We're going to do grid three. And just like that, we have three. And that's going to render really nice. And it doesn't have to be, you know, in your face. It doesn't have to, you know, throw a user off. Let's see how it, it renders. Very cool. Now, we could also build the blog post around, you know, where to buy this type of pothos. But let's see how it renders on mobile. We always double check. I like that. And yet again, if someone clicks on it right here, they buy this, then we make a little bit of money. And then when you end up selling something, this is Amazon's report. This is from yesterday. We sold five things and I'm, I'm guilty. I bought the I bought these myself. So the, that doesn't count, right? I bought those for my house. But someone bought this and this and this and this, right? So we made a little bit of commission. Someone literally from the website bought this jade. They bought this one. They, they I guess, bought them out of stock. They bought this philodendron white princess and they bought this liquid jade plant fertilizer. And it was just as easy as what I just showed you. Now, this is probably our most successful blog post in terms of people clicking through, buying things, all these things. A huge listicle. And by the way, listicles really rock. But, you know, maybe we can tighten this up. That kind of stinks. Remember what I was saying about editing my videos, right? We should edit our blog post in the same way. That's a lot of text for an intro. But then, as you can see, people click through here. This is the one that I had to put a new one in. Remember, it was out of stock. I put a new one in here, a CTA for Amazon. Someone clicked this and bought one of the plants. So it was the first one off the bat, which goes to reason. But if we were to edit this, how could we also add other ones? So Phil Dendron, Prince of Orange, we have this one here, we have YouTube, we have this right here. Remember, this is Twitter, right? If I go here, preview, boom, Twitter, a little bit of something there. White Princess, I think someone bought that too, right? But let's scroll down where I have no um, links right here. Let's say Lemon Lime Philodendron. All right, we're going to come here, we're going to do this, we're going to hit this button here, AAWP is the plugin. What we're going to do is product boxes, we're going to do over here, search for products, we're going to paste that in search. Let's see if there's any, and there are. Now, what I like doing here is finding one that has a white backdrop because it'll look good on my website, right? Philodendron, lemon, lime, live plant. Cool. Once we do that, it's going to come up like this, but eh, I really don't like that. So let's read this philodendron, lemon, lime, live plant in a four inch growers pot. Cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do philodendron, lemon, lime, live plant, and I'm going to say four inch pot. And what's going to happen is it's going to change that right there. Wonderful. And then we're going to go down. We're going to say Amazon button. I'm not going to display that because it's inferred. You're going to click on the link. People understand that. I already showed through other purchases. People understand that. And then the template over here to the right, we're going to do, I think it's widget. I think it's, there it is. Just like that. It wasn't hard at all. Update. Let's view the post after. So it's updated. Control click, view post. We'll scroll down, see how it renders in both desktop and mobile. And I like this for a lot of reasons because they load fast. They seemingly load fast, right? There's moonlight. They look good, so they provide an image. They're not huge, but they look good. And uh, they make us money. Let's just see how it looks here. Now, remember from uh, Clarity, if we came back here, Microsoft Clarity, our scroll depth is 26.31%. 
So that means it's about a quarter of the way. And you look here, right here, right? We're about a quarter of the way. So maybe if you're really good, you put something right about here to hold their attention, maybe encourage them through a call to action to go check out this page. But remember, this website right here, it doesn't have any uh, display ads on it, yet we can still monetize. And oftentimes, non-display ad monetization is some of the best ways to make money online.